Okay, in part one, we will introduce you to the user interface. You may wish to skip this part if you're familiar with version 6.5, but there will be some useful observations for everyone here. Okay, this is what Axia looks like when you fire it up for the first time. We're going to create a new project or .rp file. First, uh, a quick UI summary. Like many other design software you see, there is a file menu and toolbars, a working space called the canvas, and a number of option palettes. To the left, you see option palettes for adding to and manipulating the canvas. On the right side, you will find options pertaining to objects populating the canvas. These are enabled depending on the particular object you have selected at that time. Let's look at the file menu and toolbars first. I'm not going to be too thorough here because there's lots of duplication and many features are best introduced in situ in their respective palettes. But I'll point out some of the more important features you'll only find in the file menu. The toolbars are customizable, so you can choose to switch some off or move them around. Unfortunately though, Axia doesn't remember this preference after closing. Uh, to the file menu, where you'll find many familiar options, uh, an important item in the file menu is the backup settings and recover file from backup. You can customize the backup interval, uh, but it defaults to every 15 minutes. Uh, this can be a lifesaver. Find and replace in the edit menu. It's very powerful and you can run operations across the entire project. I once worked in an organization where they wanted to manage all the copy in Axia and it saved me many hours of laborious work a few times. Project settings. The project menu has a border alignment option. To run through some history briefly, pre-version 7 Axia added border widths on top of the widget's width or height, which was a little confusing because I think most users expected the width or height to be reported accurately, irrespective of the border settings applied. They have updated this for version 7 with the ability to switch back to the old way if you're more comfortable with this. The grids and guides are found in the Arrange menu as well as by right-clicking on the page. There are some presets for guides that follow popular grids like the 960 grid. There are snap two options just like other graphics programs to help you with consistent spacing. More on this later. The Publish menu. Uh, here are options for generating prototypes and specifications. This is duplicated in the published toolbar. The preview facility is what you'll be using the most. I find this most easily accessed by hitting F5. There are keyboard shortcuts for most of the commands we've seen here. Last in the menu, you'll find help. The online training at Axure.com is top class and the forum is also really useful for getting answers to the big and small questions that aren't covered here. The editor toolbar contains the selection modes. You choose for your selections to grab every widget that is intersected or by selecting contained mode your selection will only grab widgets that are fully contained by your selection area. The third one you see here connector mode is used to draw connectors for flow diagram objects and actually bears little relation to the other two modes. Next we will introduce the individual tool palettes in the Axia 7 UI.